Hey guys, this is Kotetsu from Kotetsu Something, and today I'm going to be calling YouTube out for something that they're doing that is completely terrible. And before I get started on my video, make sure to subscribe to my channel, like, and comment on this video because it helps support my channel. Okay, now to get started on this topic today, I really didn't want this day to come. I like YouTube as a website and the way they run things in general, but I just feel that the public deserves to know about this complete injustice that they're doing right here. And now let's get started on what it is. YouTube is not really second guessing terminating large YouTube channels. And you guys might be wondering why it's just large YouTube channels, but there's something different about large YouTube channels than just any other YouTube channel. They have lots of fans that would be are like pretty much a lot of times defend on their videos as maybe their main source of entertainment. And what YouTube is doing pretty much is just letting bots decide whether to keep their channel up or terminate it up or terminate it on right just one bot's decision based on activity the bot doesn't know if you have one subscriber or 100 million subscribers it's just gonna terminate channels without second guessing it and that's a really bad system well my opinion is that youtube should have an actual person go over it and look at a channel if it's big enough like if it has a certain number of subscribers because it's not just the fans that's affecting when big YouTube channels get terminated it's the fans and the creator they all get frustrated and the, both of these people are mad at YouTube for bringing down the channel because it sort of like just stops that person's cycle completely I mean these big YouTubers are completely dependent on YouTube and like keeping their channel up and running for a lot of these people it's a full-time job and imagine if you worked at a grocery store store okay and the boss wanted to fire you well do you think that they would just uh, fire you without telling you and have a new person work in your place and have you show up the next day and another person says hey I'm taking your job no that's not how they work if someone wants to fire you they have to tell you when you're being fired and why you're being fired and that's pretty much just YouTube just breaking that system because it's a job for a lot of people so and I give some examples too. Uh, a GTA 5 YouTuber named Dom is Live has had his channel terminated twice. He's had a really hard time getting it back. In fact, it's still terminated now. And you might be wondering if he hasn't broken any of YouTube's rules, why is his channel getting terminated? Well, there's a few really sad souls in this world who live in their parents' basement who go around YouTube. Uh, jealous of other people who have found success on this website and will false flag uh, other people's videos because they don't either like the content they make or they're just really jealous of them and these YouTube bots will not really review these videos well bots don't know how to distinguish what's actually breaking YouTube terms of service and what's not and they'll just terminate it according to the bot decision but bots aren't humans they can't same they can't have good judgment not as good as judgment of an actual person reviewing it and you, it's just used to being cheap not having people review channels I'm sure that's a job that could definitely be filled in someone would do that someone who likes this website someone who could just review channels because 95 percent of the time when someone when a channel gets terminated they don't deserve to get terminated I mean you don't hear about this on many other websites of people losing their accounts and stuff it has to be a serious offense hell the lizard squad was able to get away of being on Twitter for one month and they do felony crimes so uh, YouTube you really need to fix this system or else uh, the people watching the videos and the YouTube content creators are gonna get really really tired of this and I have a few more examples too I forgot to mention earlier you know Mr. Technical, Di Mr. Technical Difficult a YouTube uh, commentator yeah well he had three million subscribers and a bot decided his fate and whether he lost his channel and kept three million fucking subscribers I mean seriously and I could just go on so many more names Trev's tutorials I just and there are just so many other YouTubers I could like uh, give example like Mr. Technical Difficult. He had three million subscribers and he lost them all. Uh, there's just so many other examples. And gaming YouTubers are particularly discriminated against because I don't know. Maybe YouTube don't like their content as much. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe the bots don't like the pattern of their videos. And the main message of this video is YouTube, you just need to implement a change to the way you determine whether channels go down or stay up. Because fans, creators, content creators are starting to get really tired of it. 
and I'm pretty tired of it too. Tell me what you think in the comment section if you're tired of it too. Okay, this is Kotatsu from Kotatsu Something, and I'm out. You guys have a good day.